Well, greater he in me is greater than he is in the world. Yeah, exactly. See? Yeah, yeah. See? See? Yeah. The, 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 see? The, why? Woo -hoo. Come on. See? see, see <laughs> We're going see, to church. Our, our, blessings, our blessings are for our spirit man. Yes. Our lessons are for our flesh. All those negative things, that's all flesh stuff. See? I, I want you to understand this. See? See, if the blessings are for your spirit and the lessons are for your flesh, yeah. understand you have to read in order to pass that test. That's coming your way. Keep it. See, keep it coming. if you if you read the lesson, when that test come, it will be lesson. Oh, it will be lesson. <laughs> so I just want you to understand that 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 we we really need to start right, focusing right. spiritually. I'm on a spiritual tip now, right? As far as like not seeing flesh because everything of the flesh really bothers me. I feel and you. And it shouldn't. And that's my flesh. Yeah. But my spirit can say joy. <laughs> yeah. Can say joy. Hey. So I get excited <laughs> hey. when I talk about this. Hey, hey, you know what? This, this is definitely, um, this is definitely what In the Upper Room is about. Um, because it is a spiritual program and it always has been. And it has uh, a spiritual anointing over yes. this program. And, and I thank him for that. And I was thinking today about the spirit, you know, and and how a spirit doesn't die. Right. You know, the body may weather, but the spirit will continue. Isn't that you awesome? Know? And, and I, I, I think about how we all need to have the spirit, the spirit within us, the spirit of God, the spirit of Christ. Um, if you are um, striving to become one who is going to lead in this community than the spirit of our ancestors. You know, the spirit of, of, of Martin Luther King, the spirit of our African warriors, the spirit of all of these spirits, you know, and, and spirituality is real and God is real, yeah. you know. And, and I think that we do ourselves a disservice when we only think of what we're capable of through the flesh. You know, um, because I'm sorry, but listen, you can, we can go so much further when we when we let God be oh, the head. I'm telling you, I tell you, I get excited. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a, I'm not ordained as a minister or a preacher, but I am a servant, and I'm telling you, I'll tell you from my heart what He's done for me. I'm sure you'll tell Him yes. what He's done for you. Yes. And and as I was reading, I read something to Bishop Morton today, um, in celebration of her birthday. Mm -hmm. And that was, that was love between Bishop and me. That goes back a long way, Steve. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things or themes in it is what she did. Um, she didn't have to do it, but she did it. You know, um, as a young person being caught up in a lifestyle that was going nowhere, mm -hmm. got myself in a mighty bad way. What happened? We sent for Bishop Morton. I, I didn't send. Mm -hmm. Mom sent for Bishop Morton. Bishop Morton comes to the house and she spends all night with me trying to get me straightened out. And, and she didn't have to do it, but she did it, you know. Um, and then when I got diagnosed with cancer, B.B. Mm -hmm. Coker made me tell Bishop. And Bishop brought me into her office and she counseled me and she prayed over me. Um, she didn't have to do it, but she did it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's just like one of those things, Steve, where as powerful as the bond is between Bishop and I and the things that she did that she didn't have to do, you amplify that and multiply that by infinity mm -hmm. and you get the grace of God. Mm -hmm. All that he does for us, he didn't have to do it. But he did it. But he did it. Amen. You know, and, and, and it's eternal. His love is eternal. It's not like, all right, man, I'm going to help you out this time, but you do it again, you on your own. Nah. They say he'll forgive and restore. He'll forgive us. What is it? I forget how many scores it is, but it's an awful lot. <laughs> it's more grace than we give each other. Do, do, do you think that that... Right now, it's, it's, it's what's left out right now. What's that? Love. Oh, love. See, because people yeah. are hurting. Absolutely. And, 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 and those kids out there, they need, they need love. Oh, yeah. But, but we, we need love. See, mm -hmm. our love needs to show. Mm -hmm. And if we don't show love, 
How can kids receive? Because they go by what they see. That's what's missing, Steve. The um, love. And it's, it's plain and simple because, unfortunately, a certain system and in, in, in a way that values are, are constructed and applied, they gear towards striving. Mm -hmm. Striving and surviving, not loving, right. not accepting. You know, so people are too busy to love. People are too competitive to love. People are too tired to love. You know, people are too ambitious to love. People are too ashamed to love. You feel me? And, and then you got certain ones who are agents in, in, of the devil. Let's face it. Mm -hmm. And they clean up nice. They look nice. They smell nice. You know, they drive nice cars, they live in nice places, but their job is to divide and destroy. And people trying to please those folks don't want to be seen as weak, so they don't want to show love to their brother or their sister. And, 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 and where, is, where is love? Love is, yeah. love is in the heart. Yeah. Watch this, Mike. Mm, come on with it. <laughs> so, so, so if love is in the heart, mm -hmm. that means greater he mm -hmm. in me mm -hmm. is greater than he it's in the world, right? Absolutely. So if that's the case, and love is in a heart, yeah. how do you spell heart? Right. H-E-A-R-T, right? Right. So if, if, if it's H-E-A-R-T, and, and, and he is in me, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we were, we were, we were, uh, we were, we were born right. uh, by, or we, we were conceived, let me say mm -hmm. that, we, we were conceived by the Holy Spirit. Christ Jesus was, no, we were conceived through the Holy Spirit. Or by the Holy Spirit, but Christ Jesus was conceived mm -hmm. through, right? So if, if he's in me, right, mm -hmm. and he created us in an art form, right? So right. that makes he art. Exactly. And in that art, in that art form, he has given us three things, ability, mm -hmm. revelation, mm -hmm. and a testimony. Mm -hmm. So, and, and that's where the love comes from, within the ability, because yeah. we have abilities to do what we do. Absolutely. People call it talents. Talents come from abilities. Right. You have had God-given ability prior to a talent. Right. So the talents come from the abilities. Yeah. But then he reveals, yeah. woohoo, he reveals that. Yeah. And yeah. that's the R. And right. when he reveals it, guess what you can do? You can go talk about what he revealed to you. Exactly. Exactly. I that like comes, that. that came to me. I don't know yeah. if that's for anyone yeah, else. you but. broke that down. And that is for somebody. That is for somebody. And thank God that we're getting a dub of this because we want to play that back. They might have to look and listen to that a couple of times, but I get it. See. And, 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 you know, and, and it's truth in what you say, um, Steve. It's not just good, sounding good. It is sounding good. You're talking good. You're talking good. But it's real and it's true because um, literally as an artist, Mm -hmm. um, as an artist, I spent my pretty much my entire life um, trying to develop as an artist. And then when I got to be maybe, maybe 19 or so, I decided that, you know, I was going to, you know, stop spending so much time trying to draw and paint. And I'm just going to get out here like every other young person and party and do this, do that. Man, I stayed away from a pencil for about four years, right? Mm-hmm. This is how awesome God is when he gives you a gift. I had not picked up a pencil in about four years and uh, decided that I would, I would pick it up. And when I picked it up and I started to draw, I was like 10 times better than I was you know I mean? when I put the pencil down and didn't practice at all. And I said, you know, this was amazing because what happened was he gave me a living gift. And that gift continued to grow, even though I wasn't even acknowledging it or using it. Wow. And, and there's a saying that your gift will make room for you, you know? Yeah. And, and Valerie Trammell and Maria Cabrera, mm -hmm. at, when they were working for the Art Commission in the city of Wilmington, gave me my first exhibit. And I mentioned how I met Terry, Anthony and Terry Carter the former host of this program mm -hmm. for several years. Well, I met Terry Carter at a gas station. And how did I meet her? Well, I was getting gas at the counter and the guy asked if I had any ones. I said I needed for my customers because I was having an exhibit. And so I get outside and Terry, who I didn't know, had no idea who she was, 
she was pumping gas, and I said, it's a beautiful day out, right? And she said, it sure is. She says, I hope you don't mind, but I overheard you say you needed change for your customer. Do you mind if I ask what business you're in? I said, well, I'm an artist, and I, you know, I sell artwork, and I had some in the trunk. I popped the trunk. This is my gift, making room for me. I popped mm -hmm. the trunk. Terry looks at it, and she says, oh, my God. And she got chill bumps, and she invited me to come on in the upper room as a guest because of my art, mm -hmm. and I was afraid. I said, it, it was live TV, I was not gonna do it. So she recorded it and showed the um, interview. They did that for me another time. I would not come on this program because I didn't wanna do live television. <laughs> and then lo and behold, one day, I got a phone call and they asked me to come on and guest host this program. And then I guest hosted the program and became a part of it ever since. So we've, we've gone for seven years now. Awesome. And it's because of the connection between the art and God's will. Let me ask you, and that, that's awesome. Let me ask you, do you have a relationship with the school district or any of the school districts? I have a vested interest in, I, in many of the school districts. I ask you that because, you know, there's a lot of talented kids or yeah. youth that's in, like, in the middle school yeah. and they have art exhibits. In fact, our school district is having an art exhibit. Yeah. But I'm gonna see if I can talk to my um, principal if, if you are willing to come in and listen and, and, and talk to our, our, our art classes. Absolutely, and, and you and know, show them some of the things that you know. Yeah, sure, Steve. Thank you for that. And and also, I just want to stress the fact we have a program set up specifically for really? the arts, and it's through in the upper room. It's called You Are Future Artists. Just go to youarefutureartists.org. They can contact us and they'll see our other artists that we've had featured there. We've had a parade of young, talented artists in, on this program here, but you know, a lot of times folks don't ac acknowledge it. You understand? Um, it's because of whatever reason they may have. But well, thank you, man, and we yeah. will look forward to working with you on so, that. You know, I, I know a little bit about yes. the arts. Yes, you do. <laughs> hey, at home, listen. Listen, I told y'all this was going to be a great hour um, having Steve Washington with us. Signing off live on behalf of Shauna Roy, my co-host who's away tonight. I'm Michael Riley. From all those in the studio tonight, we're going to wish you a great uh, Martin Luther King holiday and stay tuned for the Congo Hour coming up next. That's with Trippy, Wayna, Mr. C, everybody. Love you.